We got a special guest. We do. Kevin Love has just sat in. Uh, Gentlemen. This was a wild, wild game, Kevin. I, I don't know how you would describe it, having been a part of it, but there, we were just talking about all the different things that happened. Not only the crazy point totals, 49 and a quarter, 86 for a half, but all the physical play, the technical foul, the, the scrums, the thing that happened down here at the free throw line. I mean, how would you describe being in the middle of all this? It was bound to get scrappy eventually. Um, Why did y'all wait so long? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it escapes me. Uh, we felt like we let one go in game three. Uh, we had a great chance to, to win that ball game. They executed down the stretch. We made a two or three minute game. Couldn't score the basketball and you know, KD was great. Had a great performance and you know, we just want to come out tonight, lay it all on the line, come out swinging. We felt like we did that and obviously in that, that first quarter we were great. First half we were great. They're a great third quarter team, but we didn't let that stop us. We want to come out, make it a point. You know, they had six early a uh, couple threes, but you know, we just want to continue to fight, continue to push that pace, and Kyrie and Braun were special again tonight. And what was the message in the locker room? Was the message, we don't want them to celebrate on our floor, we don't want to get swept, let's just try to take one game at a time. What was the message, and who was the main vocal guy in delivering that message? Just if we played, I mean, we, we made a few changes after game two, um, it was especially on the defensive end. And we knew if we pushed the ball, those guys played downhill. Uh, we hit our three-point shots and get good looks. I mentioned we, we want to throw a haymaker tonight. We felt like we did that. Um, we got into the ball. We forced them into tough shots. The game got a little bit chippy. So we want to change the game in a few different ways. And, you know, we felt like we did that more than anything. We were hitting big shots. We're getting the crowd into it. When we do that, we feel like we play really good at home. But you know, now we got to go into Oakland and get another one. You guys are the only ones that has ever been down 3-1-1. One and one. And so the rest of the world thinks, you know, this is over. It's easy to say that. And I'm not saying you're cocky saying it's going to be over. But you can pull something out of that reserve, or how do you guys look at the fact you're down 3 1? Is it that we've been here before, or we just need to win this and get back home? What's your outlook now that you've won this game? Yeah, I think every every year, every playoff series, every game is different in, it, in, it, in itself. Um, you know, obviously, they're a different team, we're a different team. Uh, both teams have gotten better, and I can go on and on and on, but now it's just one game at a time. And I know that's cliche, I know that's the thing to say, but you know, our backs are against the wall. As you said, we've been here before, so we just got to take it game by game. We got the same mentality going going to their place. You know, Chuck and I love when you play in the post and you're a beautiful outside shooter. When your shot's not falling, do you think you should de de demand the, the ball in the post a little bit more sometimes? Well, I felt like I, uh, I did that in the first half of, of last game, and you know, I just I had to fill in the blanks last game. You know, my shot wasn't falling. Uh, what I was one for seven for three, I believe. So. You know, for me, it was getting the offensive rebound, getting deflections, getting steals, just doing the extra stuff. So, um, you know, it's going to be games like that. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you when you shoot poorly, it doesn't exactly mean that you play poorly. So right. I just try to go out there, play my part. And, uh, you know, tonight was a little bit different. We're all hitting shots. What, what accounts for the, the 49 in the first quarter? Did, did you guys have any kind of a different approach? It didn't look a lot different, but the results changed. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, I couldn't tell you how many. I mean, threes we hit how many times we got to line and ones just uh, playing really physical on both ends. I think that's that's what did it creating turnovers and uh, you know whether it was half quarter or pushing the pace we were, we were pretty damn good. Your bench has really struggled. You know there's so much pressure on the big three but your bench has really struggled this entire series and I'm not going to ask you to call anybody out but who do you guys really need to step up. It's not bit not calling them out, but they just have not played well. Um, Shannon Fry is not even playing at all, basically. Shumpert has not played well. Kyle, uh, Kyle Corpus hit a couple shots. I mean, your bench is really going to have to step up because the team plays at a much faster place at Roracle. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, a lot of the time that, that matchups you know, dictate the lineup. And, you know, we, we kind of said it. In the Boston series, Eastern Conference finally, uh, Finals. Obviously, it's a, uh, a far different team, but you know we feel like we, we just need that one or two guys to to, to step up and, and score the ball or, or, or make a difference. And I thought, you know, even though he's one of our starters, Tristan Thompson came came through huge for us tonight. I believe he had five assists. Uh, you know, I had ten rebounds. So I mean, that was that was a Tristan Thompson that we know, and he stepped up big for us. You, you know, know, I don't Shaq know you guys and, uh, Shaq and Kenny say 
I brag about you. I got a man crush on you. <laughs> what do you say about that when I've just given you the kiss you cam? Have a man crush no, no, first, of all, first of all, what you do you do say about it? Kiss on. cam. Well, I, what do you say about the man crush? How do you outlet pass like that, Kevin? Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. How only West Ansel did it that way. Well. Yeah, it's me and Shaq can't do that. Oh. Oh. But now that I'm close to him, he do have some pretty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, me and Shaq, we're watching these games. We've been obviously all season. We're like, Shaq looks at me, Chuck, can you make that outlet pass? I said, Shaq, I'll throw my shoulder out trying to make that outlet pass. Even in my prime, you know, how much time do you spend working on that? Uh, not much. I used to play, uh, as I mentioned, guys, a few weeks back. I used to, uh, I couldn't quite get the ball to the hoop when I was super young. So I played three, four grades up with with my brother, and you know, my dad just tried to get, told me to get my elbow in, shoot that ball up, but I couldn't do it. And you know, I kind of shot it from the chest, had a lot of accuracy, then it became just throwing it full court. I don't know. It just it just came to be that way. Uh, Kevin, I, I can't tell you. Kevin, I don't. Okay. Like right here, yes, that's, and, that's and ridiculous. I nobody do nobody that. does it. Can like you that. throw a baseball or a football or it's just basketball? Well, yeah, I can throw a ball. My parents wouldn't let me play football. They said you get your ass in that paint and you stay there. <laughs> Played baseball with clay, right? I was a baseball pitcher, yeah. Yeah. And then of course my dad said you gotta I make a decision. Do that, Chuck, baseball, yeah. basketball, and it's worth a parent, yeah. It's worked out nice. I was gonna play basketball. Right, trust me, I, I saw your paycheck. You you're doing good. <laughs> what 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 pace do you guys like to play with? Because everybody talked yesterday or today this week about pace, and we were all saying that you have to be smart with how you push the ball you just can't run wild what, what do you say about your team's pace and how you guys have to play well I thought tonight we made a lot of smart decisions we didn't turn the ball over and uh, I think when we play like that and we make the, the extra pass the swing swing and and you know those two guys are being special in, in taking the ball downhill and getting to the rim that's a pace that's that, that's how we want to play and you know that can be tricky playing against the Warriors team because they get it out in transition KD is so good going downhill and you know, it's almost like their 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 layup drill or that, their fast break is is you know running to the three point line and you know getting shots and their offensive rebound they're tipping back. You got to stay the bodies because they're going to kick it out and hit another shot, another three, and you always see that. So they're a very tough team to uh, to play against in that respect. Kenny, uh, uh, this game I was sitting you know behind the ESPN panel and about 13 to 15 times these guys got open. Uh, I don't know your defensive scheme. Are you switching everything? You're supposed to call it. You're going to screen over, but a lot of times they're getting open to getting uh, easy shots. All they need is a, a split second. I mean, KD. I mean, he's he's, you know, so long. Uh, obviously, his stature, he can shoot right over you, depending on who's on him. So when we switch and we get in the body, he can just you know pull up from 23, 25 feet and shoot right over you. Clay uh, is no different. I mean, he's uh, you know a, obviously a tough matchup and. All they need is that boom split second. Like, uh, Steph's the same way. I know he had a tough shooting night tonight, but you know we got to expect them to shoot better, better and play better at home. Nice job. Uh, way to way to I stop just, perfection. Not only, not only just notice my eyes. Got some little fluffy hair up there too. <laughs> How does he smell, Chuck? Kiss, kiss Cam. Hey Cam. Hey Chuck. Uh, Once you go, Kevin no is like way. you're living in heaven. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, man. Appreciate it. Uh, Great job. Kevin Love, 23 points, <laughs> six of eight from three-point range, six of the finals record, 24 threes for the Cavaliers tonight. Congrats. We'll see you by the bay.